Hello, this is uh, part two of character rigging in ToonSquid. Uh, in this one, I'm going to show you how to keep your character as one piece, so he's not just a bunch of layers. First thing you want to do is push the transform hierarchy button. You want to drag the body parts into this menu over here. Uh, if you want each body part to be connected to a separate piece, just like body and arms and eyes on the head. So when you go to move that body part, it only moves that area. So if I move the body, it's gonna move the body and arms. And if I move the head, it's gonna move the head and eyes. But if I just move the arms, the arms will be its own thing away from the body. And if I just move the eyes, it will move away from the head. So. Just make sure that when you go to move the body parts, you're moving the base layer and not the secondary layer that's connected to that piece, if that makes any sense. Now that we have our character set up, you want to be able to move our character, and we'll do that by using keyframes. So you go to the layer that you want to move, which in this case would be the head, which is our base layer. So when we move the head, we're moving the eyes and the head with each other. You want to also make sure that you've clicked the keyframe button on the bottom down there. It looks like a little diamond. Uh, then you click on where you want the frame to be, which in this case, it's the eighth frame. And then you can move the head around by using the select tool on the top left. You can add keyframes as well uh, by pressing the add keyframe button on the bottom right. You could also delete the keyframes by using the button in the bottom right as well where obviously it says delete keyframe. And if you watch the part one of this, you'll know that you can click on the, your arms layer and open up the properties and go to markers. And you can do the same thing that you did uh, kind of with the keyframing a little bit, but you select markers instead of adding keyframes. Uh, and you can switch out the arm positions just by clicking them. And they will always be moved with the base layer which in this case, it's our body. So if we rotate the body, the arms will rotate with it. So we can easily just switch out the markers and not have to worry about moving two layers rather than just moving one layer and it also moves our secondary layer as well. 